In the nearshore waters of the island of Hawaii, scientist Alexander Gauss carries out a night capture of a hawksbill sea turtle. Turtles are measured, weighed, and flipper tagged, part of the research underway to better understand and manage the Hawaiian colony of hawksbill sea turtles. One important aspect of our research is conducting in-water monitoring at, at foraging sites, so where turtles feed. If we're lucky enough to find the same turtles again, over time what we can do is we can understand things like how much do turtles grow over a certain period of time? How long do they actually remain in a particular habitat? And this information then tells us uh, the appropriate management strategies that we should take to ensure viability of the species into the future. Global populations have declined by an estimated 90% over the last 100 years, having a major impact on the ability of hawksbills to fulfill their ecological roles. As they're the only species of sea turtles that eat sponges, they help ensure sponges don't overtake the reef. The main Hawaiian Islands host the largest and only consistent nesting colony in the U.S. Pacific, but still only receive about 14 nesting females each year. The need to focus research on this population is critical. Satellite devices are attached to track turtle movement. When the turtle comes to the surface to breathe, the transmitter sends a signal to orbiting satellites and this sends a location point down to the scientists who can then connect the dots and get a track of the turtle's movements. We've tagged a total of 16 adult female hawksbill turtles. Results from satellite telemetry have shown us that after nesting, the adult female hawksbills, they might migrate from one island to the other or remain on the same island, but they almost never leave the island chain of, of Hawaii. And this really contrasts sharply with some of the migratory behavior exhibited by the species in other parts of the world and, and really presents us with some unique conservation and management opportunities so we can protect the entire life cycle and both foraging and nesting sites for the species. We're also trying to learn about the genetics of hawksbill turtles around the Hawaiian Islands. We take a skin sample for genetic analysis, which can give us insights into things like which nesting colonies are contributing the most to the different foraging grounds, uh, how long have the different nesting colonies been separated, and how different genetically are they. And we can even gain insights into things like how many males are in the population. Using a genetic database, NOAA scientists are able to identify hawksbills that don't originate from any of the known beaches in Hawaii, providing clues that there are nesting sites that are unaccounted for. So there are a number of beaches around the Hawaiian Islands that simply haven't been investigated today because they're isolated or really hard to get to or both. We're looking to implement innovative tools such as drones, so drones can access the, these areas much more easily and in a fraction of the time. Until we inventory these beaches, we can't know their importance for the population. How many hawksbills do they support? What threats exist? These are the types of things that once we know, then we can get a better assessment of the Hawaiian hawksbill population. Fortunately, there are several organizations here on Hawaii that have been protecting nests and ensuring hatchlings make it to the sea safely for decades. And this really gives us optimism and hope that the population will rebound in the near future. Hawksbill nests are often destroyed by non-native predators such as mongoose, rats, and feral cats. Conservation efforts to protect nests and hatchlings are essential and are carried out by many partners. These groups also generate important information that we incorporate into our scientific research. By combining all of these research tools, we can really get a better assessment of hawksbill turtle populations around the Hawaiian Islands. And what we ultimately want is there to be healthy, robust populations of hawksbills inhabiting Hawaiian waters and allowing them to fulfill their ecological roles.